All right, here we got another one, find the missing leg, but now the hypotenuse is not a whole value, it's some kind of square root, but it is gonna set up the same. We got c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Once again, it doesn't matter which leg you replace for a and b, but the hypotenuse always has to be the c value. So I will replace the c value with the square root of 113. And this time, just to, I don't know, for the sake of randomness, let's go ahead and replace the a value this time with 7. This one's not too bad because the square root of 113, if I square that, then I would just get 113. And 7 squared is 49. Of course, I'll be adding the b squared. The b is the other leg, the missing leg value, which I am solving for. So from here, we'll subtract 49 from both sides of the equal sign. And I've still got the b squared. Equals, uh, what the heck is that? Uh, four, 64. 64. Thank you, 64. 64 is a great number because, as it turns out, that is a perfect square. So when I square root both sides to get rid of the square on the b, I'm left with a b, and the square root of 64 is 8. Now again, you should go back and check, right? You just replace b with 8 and make sure that this stuff gives us a true statement. Is that okay right there? So this is the Pythagorean theorem. Um, so yeah, the c is squared, and the c is the square root of 113. So when I square that, I'm squaring a square root, which gives me just whatever I had inside the radical, because the square of a square root is just, the, the square root and the square are going to cancel out.